Hi guys! This is your teacher Malu Abispo and welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification para updated kayo sa susunod nating written works at performance tasks. At kung may tanong kayo, just comment down below. Good morning, Grade 10, Grade 10 Moab, Grade 10 Macedonia, and Grade 10 Nazareth. Today's lesson was taken from our textbook from pages 312 to 314. Today's learning objective is to identify the different food factors that affect food quality. What is a good quality food? A good quality food is a food that is nutritionally adequate, aesthetically acceptable and economically feasible in terms of food cost, time, and energy in preparation. There is no exact method to determine how long a food will maintain its quality and be safe to eat because many conditions affect quality. The storage life of foods is affected by the following. One, Freshness of the food when it reached the grocery store. Two, length of time and temperature at which it was held before purchase. Three, temperature of storage areas. Four, humidity level in food storage areas. Five, the type of storage container or packaging where the food is stored in. And six, the characteristics of the food item. Let us discuss the maintenance of food quality in the following areas. The storage, thawing, preparation, and cooking. Proper food storage helps maintain food quality by retaining flavor, color, texture, and nutrients while reducing the chance of contracting foodborne illnesses. Always refrigerate perishable foods within two hours from purchase. Check the temperature of your refrigerator and freezer. Have a regular cleaning schedule and defrosting as needed. Store in smaller batches to cool or freeze faster. Avoid opening freezer or refrigerator door often. Think and plan ahead what to take out so that door is not left open for a long time. Cook or freeze fresh poultry, fish, ground meats, and variety meats within two days. Within three to five days for beef, veal, lamb, or pork. Perishable foods such as meat and poultry should be wrapped securely to maintain quality and prevent meat juices from getting into other food. Aside from covering or wrapping food properly, there is a need to label with product name and the date when stored. Keep cooked foods on shelves above the raw foods to avoid drippings. Discard cans that are dented leaking, bulging, or rusted. High acid canned foods such as tomatoes and pineapples can be stored and opened on the shelf for 12 to 18 months. Whereas low acid canned foods such as meat, fish, poultry, and most vegetables will keep two to three years provided the unopened can remains in good condition and stored in a cool, clean, and dry place. Thawing or defrosting foods is a critical control point to prevent foodborne illness. Take care to avoid cross contamination and minimize food time in the danger zone. There are acceptable ways to thaw food properly. One is inside the refrigerator, another is under running water, or in a microwave oven. Foods can also be thawed as part of the cooking process. Always wash hands with soap and warm water for 20 seconds. 
when to wash your hands. Before starting to work, before handling cooked or ready to eat foods, after handling or preparing raw food, after handling waste, after cleaning duties, after using the toilet, after blowing nose, sneezing, or coughing, after eating, drinking, or smoking, or after handling money. Another one is do not cross-contaminate. In order to avoid cross-contamination, let us store foods properly, sanitize shopping boards, wash hands and counters frequently, and of course, we need to attain or attain or participate actively in food safety training. Marinate meat and poultry in a covered dish in the refrigerator. We need to cover the dish inside the refrigerator to avoid contamination of labor from other dishes. We need to sanitize cutting boards. We can use one tablespoon of unscented liquid chlorine bleach in every gallon of water. Cooking is the application of heat to food for the following objectives. One, to make it easily digestible and easy to chew. Two, to render inactivate certain foreign harmful agents attached to the food. Examples of those are bacteria. Three, to enhance and emphasize flavor. And four, to conserve the nutritive value. The recommended safe minimum internal temperatures are the following. 145 degrees Fahrenheit for steaks, roast, fish, and pork. 160 degrees Fahrenheit for ground beef and egg dishes. 165 degrees Fahrenheit for chicken breast and whole poultry. So, to summarize, let us saw frozen foods in the refrigerator, microwave oven, or as part of its cooking period. Let us follow the principles of cooking for the type of food, cook meats and fish thoroughly, and let us avoid three minutes or serving raw eggs. When tasting the food, we need to use a teaspoon once. We need to avoid smoking and chewing gum while cooking. And of course, we need to minimize talking while preparing and cooking food. Philippians chapter 2 verse 4 says that, Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others. This is your teacher, Malu Obispo, saying, Thank you for listening. Stay safe and may God bless us all.